Hey, my name is Giles. You're watching Schizophonic.com, and we're sitting here with Ted Poli. Hey, how are you, everybody? We have balloons, and it's a party. <laughs> Man, it's something else. I love those balloons. Well, you know, I'm not exactly kiss-sized uh, in my. Uh, you know, in my ability to bring my pyro and my huge show with me. So all of my special effects, as it were, have to travel with me in my uh, carry-on. So oh, man, uh, I think that's, that's, uh, and that's and fantastic. It's, hey, it's a nice effect when yeah. you get a room full of 200 fans that, that are having a great time and they're, they're you know, banging out some balloons all over the place. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Hey, well, if it can work for the Rolling Stones, you can certainly work for Ted Foley, right? <laughs> you mean they stole my idea? They did. Well, they'll they never, did. They'll never they be did. big, so that's my no, prediction. No, if, no, that's gonna, right. if they're going to steal my ideas, they're going to just, you know, they're destined for failure. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, so, you have a new record out. I do. Ted Poley, Greatest Tits. Thank you very much. Not Greatest Hits, Greatest Tits. Well, yes, it was an idea, of course, I had when I was a 12. 12 year old and uh, I am a determined person I like to stick with my first thoughts which uh, as it turns out I, I did two covers and uh, spent a fortune on the artwork on the other cover which you can see at tedpoli.com and I hope you will but uh, if you look at this it's a pair of boobs and uh, this outsold the uh, expensive art cover about 10 to 1 wow. so it just goes to show you that uh, you know, I guess boobs sort of sex sells. Yeah, sex sells. It you know, but but it's a uh, but it's it's a very sexy CD. No, actually, um, I think you'll love it. It's a two CD set. It's got about well, according to this, I don't know, 30, 34 songs from throughout my non Danger Danger stuff and non Sega stuff. We'll get to that later. But it's all it is me. So uh, I hope you'll pick it up. And thanks for the plug. Man. No problem at all. Yeah, There's cool. a lot of great music on here. Oh, Check it very out. Much. So your first Australian tour, first ever time in Australia. Yeah, loving it. Loving you played it. one show in Melbourne so far. Yeah, yeah. How did that go? Amazing, actually. Cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, didn't even know what to expect. First of all, the city, awesome. You know, I'm not so much of a city person as far as uh, traveling the world. Uh, I just, you know, some cities are scarier than others. Likewise, I'm Melbourne sorry. was beautiful, um, and it's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. I was amazed and shocked at how cool it was, and. Uh, if you are a student of architecture, you're doing yourself a disservice if you do not visit Melbourne. I mean, see it, and Sydney, of course, beautiful. I mean, the cities are, are outrageous here. It is something out of the not too distant future. Cool. When did you arrive in Sydney? Was that today or was that? Uh, Let's see, according to jet lag, I have no idea. It's a quarter to I have no idea. Okay. You know, I just sort of, uh, you know, go where they, they put me and then I find good people like you. and. Absolutely, absolutely. You. So um, now, aside from Danger Danger, you're also uh, establishing yourself as quite a solo artist now. Thank you. Thank You've got you. a couple of records in your uh, legacy. And I've not stopped touring as well. I mean, I just can't, I, I, you know, stay home basically. I've done a lot of South, South America work, Brazil, yeah. um, Peru, a lot of my tattoos of Peruvian designs and things. And um, I love it there. I mean, the fans are, I find the fans are crazed around the world. They just, they're just great, you know. Um, and here as well, you know, so I've been very blessed to be all over the place, I guess. What's, what are some of your stronger markets? What are some of the people that are really crazy for uh, Jeff Hole and music? And well, my change? stronger market is probably the food market by my house, I guess. I, but no, um, I don't know, you know, I, I'm always surprised that I can come to some place completely on the other side of the planet, such as Australia here, and um, people know who I am you know it still Absolutely. just just Absolutely. blows my mind and uh, then the fact that they've got CD covers with my dog on it or with my you know not my boobs but boobs on it with my name on it and I mean it's a thrill it really is I've never lost that uh, that love for it which is why when you come to my show you will meet me until the club throws us out in Melbourne the entire club stayed and we loved it and took photos and signed stuff and I love it man you know so uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not getting any easier at this age either. Plenty of, I, plenty I truly, of happy customers though. Yeah, right? and, and I mean, it reflects, I guess they see that I truly love it and that I'm having fun and that, uh, so they're having fun with me and, I, and I, you know, that's that's cool. You know, you're playing uh, some of your more well-known tracks. Yeah, yeah. I like to give the fans what they want to hear. I like to come out, represent Danger Danger. The guys would love to be here. They send their regards to everybody. And, um, you know, for the meantime, it's, it's feasible. We're coming in to test the waters. I come out and, uh, I've seen a lot of the, the Revolve CDs, and so it keeps the, the Danger Danger name going, and it's good for everybody, and hopefully next time I can come and introduce the guys to, to everyone here. And for now, um, the best we could do was me, so I hope you'll enjoy it. You know? I think that'll be just fine. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of the Revolve CD, tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Now, you've been back in Danger Danger yeah. since 2004, correct me if I'm wrong. Absolutely. And, or uh, 2006, or... But, uh, well, let's take the average, 2004. Yeah, 2006, okay. something okay. like that. Uh, the record came out last year. Yeah. What, yeah. Frontiers? It did. How's Frontiers been for promotion, 
they're getting the record and shop stuff like that. They're well, a label that yeah. They're big. I mean, they're big at what they do. They just signed one of my favorite bands of all time. They signed yes. So, I mean, they're frontiers. They're becoming big players in the game. Um, I'm actually signed to them. A few of my solo projects are signed to them. My Smile CD came out on on Frontiers, and um, they're cool. What can I tell you? They're they're a big label now, and uh, they're almost the AOR label basically. And I'm very happy to work with them with Danger Danger or my solo stuff. And uh, it was nice with Danger Danger. We had a nice budget. We gave the CD sounds. You know, amazing. I'm very happy with it. Even Ravel produced it, and uh, I'll tell you, over the years, um, he's really learned his stuff. He's one of the best producers I think out there now. You know, if it's the last thing I ever record, which I hope it's not, I'm very happy to, to you know, to have that that sound go out sounding like that. You know? Right. Because so. when you rejoined, uh, there was no guarantee you were going to do a record. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, no, no. We a... no more nostalgia thing. We. Yeah. Um, we wanted to go out and, and play again, you know, the fans, it was time for the fans to see, they wanted to see the original guys that were happy to see me back in the band. And um, it was fun, we came together even as an experiment, like who knew if uh, I wouldn't piss them off again in five minutes and they'd throw me out, who knows, you know. But as it turned out, it was great, we had a great Sweden Rock, it was my first day back at work, 25,000 people, and, uh, wow. and a great day at the office, and uh, we took it from there. Then um, I believe VH1, you know, MTV, they had their top hair band countdown and we came up very high in that and all of a sudden we were sort of rekindled and we're back and now um, our fans are coming and they're bringing their kids and, and it's a great time now it's it's uh, a lot of fun it was uh, sort of worth the wait absolutely <laughs> well worth the wait